So you want to make this Dragon F1 Pro Max even lighter, like really light, and you want to make sure your aim's even better. I'm going to show you how to do this in this mod. This is a destructive mod, so you have to cut it up. We have done a non-destructive mod. I'll put a link in the description for you. But you want to get this below 40 grams. Oh boy, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So if you're not familiar who I am, I'm Bearded Bob. Been gaming 35 years plus. Got 230 plus mice. Lots of keyboards, lots of peripheral monitors. I know a lot about gaming stuff. And we go into extreme detail on here. So that's your bag. And this is the channel for you. I love the dragonfly. Mate, it's an underrated mouse. It's probably my, it's a really good budget mouse over here. All right, yeah, it's good. Everything on the left is what we're going to take out. Everything on the right is what we're going to keep. Uh, where should we start? Is that the main shell? This, for me, this mouse is going to become the one that replaces the 305, I think. I don't see why you wouldn't for the price on the PCB. Good MCU, <laughs> good uh, sensor, mechanical switches. Oh, this is the better one, it's better than the V2 Pro from Razer, I think, because that's got opto switches in it, so why wouldn't you use this one? You can change it all, you can change the switches, the encoder, it's good components, this is a very nice PCB. Gotta be careful on this, because this is a thin shell, so be careful you'll pierce the top of it. PCBs and the sat on it. Try and get the rigidity of the front. I reckon we can take out these front posts because we're not going to screw the base, so that's what we're doing next. If you want to screw the front in still, you might want to keep that. Plastic sounds quite fragile. The clips are key. So we have to make sure we keep this back one. Alright. All this diffuser. That one little light. <laughs> Could probably took that out for the uh, thingy to be fair, the non destructive. Alright. Let's get the drill out. Yeah, you have to accept when you cut the bottom, we're going to have some visibility. The other issue is the battery will have to go slightly higher up. You can't put the battery back here now. You might have to put it at the back here, maybe, or on the back of the shell, where I'm going to put it, but to try and even out the balance. But that's kind of what you're looking at, aren't you? Also, if you know you're going to use skates, stock uh, dots ones, you could cut the back out more, but I'm not going to do that. At least you can have the choice. Pretty nice, isn't it? Let's see, I need to do the battery mod actually. Let's do that. Okay, 
Right, so we're ready now to put this back together. Thirty-eight. I'm going for. So here we go. Weight reduced. Dragonfly VGN. Forty. Damn. Now we have to chop the piece of it to get a bit off. It needs to get below forty. It's a bit lower than that. I feel a bit robbed. The trace, the traces seem to run up to this point here. Cross. So we could probably take out like that much of it. Just risk it then. Trimmed it. I think it looks pretty good. Be below forty. Oh my days! It's got to be. It's got to be fucking trolling me. It's got to be trolling me. I think we take out the front air of the shell. There you go. There you go.